Welcome to another Azure Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Challenge number three multi containers. This is 10% of the CCAT exam. This is part one of two. Create a YAML manifest for a pod named complex.pod. The main application container named app should use the image nginx and expose port 80. You're then going to create a init container named setup and that uses the image busy box. The init container runs the command wget. Create the pod from the YAML manifest. Download the logs of the init container. You should see the output of the wget command. Open an interactive shell to the main application container and run the ls command. Exit out of the container. Then you will force delete the pod. Okay, task one. Create a YAML manifest for a pod named complex-pod. The main application container named app should use an image nginx and expose the container port 80. Modify the YAML manifest so that the pod defines in the container name setup that uses the image busy box. That container runs the command wget google.com. Good luck. All right, brand new, brand new task here. And we're going to do a cube CTL run. We're going to call it uh, complex pod with a nice image of nginx and port is equal to 80. Try run equal clients and make that we'll just call this challenge number I think this is number challenge number three a ML and I'll go to three a ML all right first we want to do is change the name from complex pod to Then we need to create another container. And it should be an init container. And we'll do an image equal to busy box name image couple problems busy box get rid of that space name should be set up and I did go and look in the documentation and you can see it's a big C, it has an S, and then we need to give a command. So we'll say SH. SC. And we want to do a W get Google.com. I think that should do it. Let's go ahead and save it. All right, end of that part of the task.
Okay, next task is to create the pod for the YAML we just created, and then download the logs of the in a container. All right, so let's see if we have any errors here. Line 15. Looks like we got a quote instead of a colon. Alright, so we'll hit escape, colon, WQ, exclamation points. Let's try this again. Alright, a little far this time. Initializing. Looking good there. And download the logs. All right, let's download the logs. And I don't need to get the name of the pod. I think a C for the container, and I think we called it, what do we call it? Setup. And there we go. There's our logs. Looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, next we want to open an interactive shell to the main application container and run the ls command. All right, so kube ctl exec custom. Forgot the name of the body again. Complex uh, interactive and the container is called app and shell. And we want to run the ls command. And it is add the container. Then we want to force delete the pod. So kubectl. Delete pod complex force, and I believe it is then looking for a timeout. Timeout equals zero. About force timeout equals zero. <laughs> and there we go. All right, as this task, see you in the next one.